Welcome to the lecture series on real analysis. In the previous lectures, we have seen the definition of an interior of a set and a closure of a set, and we have seen some results based on these definitions. In this lecture, we are going to prove a theorem of a result specifically on the set of real numbers. Let us get into the theorem. Uh, e is given to be a non empty set of real numbers which is bounded above. Okay, Here they have specified it is a non empty set of real numbers and is bounded above as well. So when a set is bounded above, supremum of the set exists. Okay? And they have taken the set to be, sorry, they have taken the supremum to be y. And we will have to prove the supremum is a member in E closure. Okay? And what happens when the set is closed? The supremum is a member of set itself. This is what we are going to prove in this theorem. Okay, given E is a non-empty set of real numbers. So, this E is to be considered as the subset of R and here they have not specified anything about the metric which means we will have to consider the metric defined in R as the standard Euclidean metric. Note that whenever a metric is not specified you will have to consider that a standard metric is defined on that set. Okay, This is the scenario that and we have to prove these things. And this y is given to be the supremum of E. Now, two cases arise. This y may be a member of E or may not be a member of E. These are the two cases. When y is a member of E, this implies what? y is a member of this union as well, which is nothing but your E closure. The proof is trivial when the supremum is a member of E. And we are going to prove when this is not a member of E. If this is not a member of E, then what should we prove is that we need to prove this. Okay, sorry. Then we need to prove this is a limit point of E. This is what we are going to prove. Okay. For which, let me consider for every h greater than 0. That may be h may be any real positive quantity for all h of this kind, there exists x in E such that x, uh, sorry, y minus h less than x less than y. This is happening in the set. This is what is happening. Here, what they are trying to say is that in a real line, you have y here, okay, choose some h positive such that you find this to be y minus h. In between there exists at least one x which is a member of E. Right? This is what they are trying to say. Suppose, okay, suppose you may ask a question that what if x does not belong to E? That may be the case, right? So, suppose x does not belong to E then we get then y minus h is an upper bound of E. Because in this scenario, what we are trying to say is that y is the least upper bound. That is given in the theorem statement itself. It is given to be the supremum of E, which means it is the lowest of the upper bounds. And if this x, this is not going to happen, this means what? This y minus h becomes the upper bound of uh, E. That y x, this is the least upper bound because this value is lesser than y. So this violates the definition of, sorry, this violates the property that y is the supremum of E. So this is going to happen. Therefore, this is the case. Okay. Now, what if I find a neighborhood with radius h? Of this y. Take this to be uh, okay. Here, what we are saying this is for all h in h positive, this is going to happen. This is what we are saying. So, whenever you choose h to be your radius, you will have this thing to be your neighborhood. And this neighborhood has at least one point 
x which is a member of e right therefore what we are getting is that every neighborhood of y contains a point of e this is happening which means what your y is a limit point of e if y is a limit point of e then we can come to the conclusion that y is in the closure of e because whenever you make a union of these two unions you are going to get the closure of e so this is going to happen here whatever may be the choice of h you are able to find out some x right and uh, okay let us conclude this theorem and let me remark some thing here uh, if e is closed what is going to happen your e as well as e closure are same so using this what will you get y in e closure implies y in e itself this is happening whenever your set is closed okay now uh, it is given that it is the non empty set of real numbers which is bounded above so this may be any interval of this form okay or simply be a or uh, minus infinity comma b union some a comma c this may be any kind okay all these sets are uh, bounded above right here for this a we have the restriction that it must be lesser than infinity this must be some finite quantity so that we can say that a uh, supremum exist right that is it is bounded above okay this is happening here uh, if you have any queries in this theorem you can post it in the comment section that will be clarified within 24 hours of time thank you for watching this lecture